Hi guys, welcome to this video. I'm looking at task 18D. The question says you work for for Tawara High School. You will edit some data about the mathematics department. Using suitable database package, import the file teachers.csv. Use these field names and data types, right? So we're gonna use all this on the, on the table, right? Um, set the S code field as a key field. So what we want, to, what we want to do first of all, we want to actually import teachers of CSV. So let's go and open our database. I already have it open here. So I want to go to external data from new data source, and then of course from text file here. I want to browse for teachers from my desktop here. I want to get to chapter eighteen teachers of CSV. I want to open that and okay that. Uh, I will nest that and then of course uh, first row contains field, field names checked so we'll go nest I don't have to do anything here yet right so first of all for the S code now what the one of the things we want to do first of all one, one access to uh, choose for us but now as you can see this code here is teachers ID I want to change it to S code to match we have on the table right so i want to change uh, teachers id to s code okay so we, we can actually do it here we can actually import the whole um file and then get it done but we can still do do it here right so let me just do the, this only first one the teachers id so i want to change it to s code okay i want to change to s code and uh yeah and then okay that so you can change to s code and then that will be our primary key so obviously i will change the rest of the fields to match what we we'll have on the table that like the phone name will be f name that kind of stuff so but let, let's first of all um import the table first and then we'll, we'll do the rest all right so let's move on so i will just finish that uh nope close that so i want to name the file let me just have it as uh let me name the file um task 18d task 18d underscore tbl to suggest that is a table teachers right so i will i will name it that and then i'll open it i want to go to design view right click and then go to design view i want to have this as phone name just to match with what we have on the table phone name and then i want to have this one as s name s name right so this uh, room is a uh, numeric clips let's see if there's any additional information so it's it's uh, numeric and of course uh, integer so let's be sure so it is numeric here so the field size here is already integer so i think i'm good with that okay so i'm gonna right click and then save my changes and close that okay so let's see so the s code has to be the primary key did i set it yes i think so i think it is let's see yeah, that's a primary key right there, the S code. So we're good. So the next thing is to import the file student.csv as a new table in your database. So let's go under import students. So external data. So from here, text file. I want to browse for, I'm interested in students. Then I'll OK that. Then of course, um, go next. Uh, yes, first row contains field names and then move on. Do I have to change anything here? I don't think so. Mm, let me see if there's any primary key that we need to the key field. Set the student ID field as the key field, right? So we're going to make that the primary key. So I will make access to choose, um, uh, sorry, I will choose my own primary key. And then, of course, the student ID is already. Um, selected by default right and i'm cool with that so i will nest and then finish and then close this and then uh, my table is somewhere here which is the student's um, uh, table so i'll right click on it again just to rename it and so that there won't be any confusion later on so task 18 d underscore tbl tbl student so i'm going to name it like that uh, so has come down here so i want to open it i want to go to design view let me be sure that i have everything well okay i don't think there's anything i need to change ch change here so i probably might have to leave it the only thing i need to do is just to ensure that student id is set as the primary key right 
right here okay so i think i'll close that so what's the next thing the next thing is to create a one to many relationship as a link between the s code the s code field in the teacher's uh, table and the math field in the student table so what i'm going to do here is to go to database tools and then of course from relationship i want to add the student name i want to add the teacher's name so we want to you want to just uh, click and drag the s code on top of the math uh, field in the student table and then release and that will create a one-to-many relationship right so in most cases you'll be told to take a screenshot of this right so i'm going to create that and uh, i think that's about it let me see it's good in the teacher's table and then the master will fill in the student table okay so i think that's it all right so thank you so much for watching so first of all i'll just close this uh, and then close this and save my changes of course yes so that's it so i'll see you in the next one bye